Here I'm going to show you how to root the LG G2 for Verizon. It's an easy step. If you follow the directions, you'll get it. Some of you people say that it doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. It does work. I know what I'm doing here. Just follow the directions and it will work. Make sure you have the right drivers installed on your computer. Verizon drivers installed on your computer. LG Verizon drivers installed on your computer. I will post a link below the video. What you want to do is you want to download this file IO root extract it to the desktop and uh, make sure your phone is US debugging so you go to the settings about phone software information hit build number a couple times until you says so it says you're now developer blah 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 you go to developer options make sure USB debugging is checked click home then what you want to do is you want to click on the USB connected it's gonna be connected on the media but connect onto the connection internet connection choose ethernet cord ethernet sorry then what you want to do is click on the file that you extracted to the desktop right here click on the windows batch file double click it then you get this message press here to continue blah 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 waiting for Rebooting, it's rebooting. Then, uh, when it gets to this screen, hit apply update from ADB. Hit the power button by the power button, and it should work. You get this yellow screen. It's going through. Press spacebar on the computer to continue. Right now it's going. Be rooted. You'll get this. This is normal. Then uh, once that's done, you click reboot system now. And uh, you are officially rooted on Verizon. LG G3. If you have any questions, comments, leave below. Please like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, and I will show you that this is Baby's Rooted Super User. Allow. Oh, wait. So there you go, your phone is now rooted.